Robert, what were you doing over there? Uh, it's getting some tea. You like tea? I love tea. Tea, it's very relaxing. Wait, t like bubble tea? Oh, it's bubbles tea. I mean, bubble tea is great. Just relaxes, gets rid of all the stress. This was what Robert was obsessing about, bubble tea. Let's try it. No! What am I chewing? No! A uh, hell no! No! Thank God Matt's back from Thailand. Let's go drink some beers. you right away so uh 22 hour flight to thailand with a one-year-old uh, okay so some of that was true um it was actually 24 and a half hours of uh flying with an 11 month old so sure you can round up uh that was difficult but she cried less than i did <laughs> did you sleep at all one thing I asked him not to do. Is that Sean? It's not Sean. It's not Sean. <laughs> I doubt anyone would notice that was an awkward edit. <laughs> I got you something. <laughs> I see that. That's a badass shirt. So you gotta tell me, what's, what's your impression of Thailand? You went there for the first time yeah. with your one-year-old, yeah. with your uh, young wife to mm -hmm. see uh, your in-laws for the first time, and they don't speak English, you don't speak Thai. Right, all well, of it, yeah. So, uh, so what's your impression? Uh, it was incredible. Yeah. I, could, I can't believe it took me so long. I mean, I'm 40 and I, that was my first time. How was um, the food? How was, how was the people? How's the city? I think you were in Bangkok, right? We were in Bangkok almost, nearly the whole time and the food was everywhere. It was spicy and sometimes it was weird. Uh, the what, people were kind. What do you mean by weird? Weird? Sometimes it was alive, sometimes... Wait, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa. I, I, I was talking about this uh, recently to some people. I, I don't do live food. You should. You should try it. I, I, all right, I mean, not just any I, food live. I wouldn't eat, you no, know. No, someone sent me a video recently. It was a fish on a plate. Okay. Had all the dressings around the fish. All right. The fish looked miserable. Probably And was. the fish was moving its head back and forth, and this is how they serve it. And then you eat the fish while it's still alive. Okay. I, I could not do that. That's a bit much. I wouldn't do that either. Right. But uh, my wife, she loves this stuff called uh, jumping shrimp. And uh, basically, they, yeah, there's a little uh, aquarium. Yeah. And they scoop out these baby shrimp, throw it in a bowl, mix in some oil and, and lime and, and, and hot pepper. And, uh, and then you eat it right then and there. Oh my God. Do we have a video of this? Go. We're gonna jump out. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, it's already. <laughs> it's so good. Let's look at it. Mm. <laughs> Do you have to dance when you eat it? Oh, yep, jumped on me. There's absolutely no way I could eat. I think there's there, one there, in my pocket. Nah, there's, there's, there's no way I could eat that. The shrimp are just jumping in your mouth. You gotta catch eat them. It. You gotta catch them. And then you you, fast. And then you crunch down on them, and then uh, you, well, they're babies, so it's soft. Yeah, but then you swallow them, and you know they're still moving as they as not they go down long. your throat. Yeah, but not for too long. I, I I could not eat that, and I've eaten some crazy things in my life. What did you eat? Um, if you don't like if you don't like jumping shrimp. Well, I got two. I I once uh, I once ate eggs that were crawling with cockroaches. Oh. But I didn't eat the cockroaches. I wasn't brave enough to eat the cockroaches, but I don't blame you. The shock value was here's my eggs, here's these crazy cockroaches, uh the big ones crawling around. Yeah, the, the hissing ones. Oh, God. And then I would eat the eggs around the cockroaches. Mm -hmm. Opie just put a, a uh, roach on the fork with the eggs on it. Oh, uh, that's fucking awful. <laughs> okay. That's I was trying to shake the roach. Oh, he shook the roach back into his eggs. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. And then uh 
I, I would say the, the craziest thing I ever ate was um, breast milk ice cream. Oh, sounds pretty good, actually. Uh, Pat Duffy, who's going to be on the beer show in the very near future, his uh, sister was pregnant at the time. Okay. They made um, vanilla ice cream out of the breast milk, and they brought it into the radio show to try. And me and Pat Duffy, I'm, I'm not sure who else tried it, but we tried the vanilla ice cream made from the breast milk. Waffle and, cone or <laughs> no, no, not waffle. You know that that would have been smart, actually. Some sprinkles. Yeah. Here's the problem with breast milk ice cream. It goes down, you try it, it's probably the best vanilla ice cream you've ever had in your life for two seconds. Oh yeah, and then what? And then you taste armpit. <laughs> then you taste armpit, and it's insanely gross. It, 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 it tasted gamey. <laughs> gamey? Yeah, so You didn't tell her that, did you? Well, ah, we probably did, but... Uh, She's a wild one. But it was, it was, it was really good and really brutal. Instantly, so all um, right, yeah. Well, at least there were no cockroaches on her uh, breast milk. No, man. Oh, we got to tell the people what beers we're going to drink today. Yeah, so it is a beer show after all. It is. That one's called Archa. That's a lager. Let me see that. We'll start with that one. Oh, damn! All right. And then uh, right after that, we've got Outlaw Brewing. So the Archer is going to be more of what you're drinking over there because it's so hot all the time. You're right. On something light. And then uh, Outlaw Brewing Mosaic IPA, six and a half percent. Uh, it says full bodied right on the can. Very, very nice. So I, I look forward that. to that. All right, there you go. Another awkward edit. But I like the t shirt because this brings uh, us back to the first episode of The Beer Show when you told the story of uh, Don't Lick. Please don't lick. Please don't lick. You got to be kind. And that's your new Get Part shirt, which that's is very right. nice. The good shirt. Look at you marketing the bar. All right, we got to try this first beer. All right, so we're going to do. Uh, we need a glass first. So. Or Another gift. Else. Yeah. This is like Christmas. It's from my favorite restaurant in Thailand, in, uh, in Bangkok. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. The restaurant's called Cabbages Condoms? Cabbages and Condoms. Oh, Cabbages and Condoms. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's hilarious. We'll talk more about it. Why is it your favorite restaurant? The food. Oh, I, I wasn't sure. It, the it food. Was, the food. Okay, I wasn't sure it was because of the cabbage food or the condoms. Well, the idea was that... Uh, there was a high birth rate in uh, in Thailand in the 70s, and somebody wanted to make condoms as available as cabbage. Ah, so all right. Like, I'll start a restaurant. That'll do it. Okay. And uh, the food's great. So the beer looks very nice. Very very nice. It looks light. Arch uh, four and a half percent. Okay. It's what you want when it's hot. Cheers, oh boy. It's hot over there. Trying beer from Thailand. What? This is the Archa, right? Archa, yeah. That's good. Ooh. That's like uh, like an old school. I, I want to say an it's old a school, grandpa beer. like a grandpa it beer, is. right? Yeah. I'm, I'm becoming more and more a fan of grandpa beers lately. All right. That's perfect. That is that is very nice. I just wish it were hotter in here. Right. Yeah. This is a beer that you want when it's like 90 degrees out, 95, but it'd be a horrible humidity. You could drink a lot of these. Yep. Minimum 90. Down. Minimum ninety. They would go down easy. I don't think. I don't think you could drink a stout in Thailand. Uh, I did. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it goes with the weather though. It doesn't. But uh, there's all sorts of things in Thailand uh, that are that are bizarre and interesting. Well, I got to ask you about that. So I kind of get mad, and now that I'm friends with you and you got a Thai wife, I actually uh, also have a cousin that married a, a Thai woman. And Thailand gets this terrible reputation. If you tell people you're going to Thailand, they're very, as the kids would say, sus. They're very suspicious of uh, the reason you go going to Thailand. We're talking obviously about the, uh, this is like a sex Trust trade there. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, uh, it's kind of built into the culture. You know, it's, it's different. It's not taboo like it is here. So, so there's a little bit less of the, the shame that, that goes along with it on this side. Um, but it is definitely there. It's, it's uh, to an extent in your face. You can't avoid it. You can't not notice it. Um, but what? But I, it's not the whole. It seems. It's not what there. it's all about. Okay. No, no, no. I mean, the, there's so much to see. The city's huge and and uh, cosmopolitan and you know very modern. But uh, you know, when you get to certain parts of the town, you definitely can't. You can't not notice. Is there a happiness about it? A sadness about it? A uh... I didn't notice any sadness. <laughs> um, 
No, I, you know, it, it just seems like it's part of the, um, the, 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 fun, the fun culture of that town. Okay. You know, the nightlife and the, uh, the bar scenes and, and all of that. Um, and I personally didn't notice anything that was way too shady, but right. uh, I might be a shady character myself in that, in that regard, so right. maybe I'm a bad person to ask about me. Uh, however, it, uh, you know, it, all, it all seemed in, in uh, good fun. And um, <laughs> definitely makes for a fun topic of discussion. I hear you, but but uh, I did want to make it clear that that's not the only thing that Thailand's known for. Certainly they're not. they're known for the the, the the people. Supposedly are really nice. They're patient. Yeah, absolutely. They're not in a hurry. Uh, everyone likes riding on their those damn mopeds. Oh my goodness! Yeah. I mean, the one thing, if you're bored, just go watch traffic for a little while. <laughs> that, that's an interesting thing to really? do. Really? Yeah. yeah. Is it like that old game Frogger? Very much like that. Where there's just Live like, Frogger. Where there's just, like, vehicles coming from all directions? Yeah, at you, uh, you know, I mean, all the time. You, you have to watch where you're going. And for uh, the American viewers, it is, you are driving on the other side of the road. So it takes a little bit to get used to that when you're about to step out in the street. Right. You've got to look the other way. Um, or if you are daring enough to actually operate a vehicle yourself. I've seen some of the intersections and it seems like there are just vehicles coming from every angle. Yeah. Like, how do you figure that out? Uh, and it seems yeah. to just work. It does work. It does work. I mean, um, I didn't see any accidents. I'm surprised. Uh, I wasn't involved in any accident. I did clip a guy's mirror with the scooter. Oops. What did that cost you? Fifteen cents. He couldn't catch it. <laughs> <laughs> he was in a car. You can't get anywhere in a car. A scooter, you got it. And everything's cheap over there. Huh? Very cheap. Yeah. I mean, there's uh, there's locals cheap, and then there's tourists not as cheap, but still cheap enough. Right. I um, I also know that uh, you tried uh, something else. What did I try? A burger. I did try a burger. <laughs> I did try a very special burger. Well, what was it again? It was a chocolate burger from Burger King. But, so, I love that about foreign countries. They always have a like a twist on our yeah. fast food. So over yeah. there, it's a burger with chocolate. At this very moment, it is. I don't know how long it's going to last, but um, uh, I was walking by a what sign. What kind of chocolate? Like a dark it's chocolate? Hershey's chocolate. Just Hershey's. Hershey's chocolate sauce on a Whopper Ooh. with bacon. Wait, did it have all the Whopper sauce, too? Uh, no. No. It was oh, just see, that burger, be... bacon, chocolate. I guess you could add tomatoes on it and stuff, but I, right. I, didn't, uh, I didn't go that route. I, I was going to ask you, uh, how did it taste? But I think we have a video. Go! <laughs> the bite. Edible. Thank you very much. All right. And I didn't actually throw it. I didn't actually throw it. I would rather the people think you threw the burger, though. Yeah, but... That's it's rude. Terrible tourist uh, move well, that's there. True. I don't. I don't want to. Uh, you know. And was it one of those places? If you litter, you're in jail for you the next ten litter. years. You don't litter. You know the funny thing is there are no garbages. Yeah. And there's no litter, so I don't know what happens to all this stuff. I I, I carried a lot of garbage home every day. Wait, that's not the country where they give you a good spanking because you spit on the sidewalk. That's Singapore. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what are we drinking now, uh, Matt? Outlaw. Didn't you see Outlaw? Outlaw. I mosaic. saw the outlaw, but yeah, okay. It's a mosaic IPA. What's a mosaic IPA? Mosaic is the hop that they're using. Okay. And know what I noticed about the the can? Is that Clint Eastwood? Fistful of dollars, baby. No, the good, the bad, the ugly. Bitch. Also, also two as well. All right. Cheers. Cheers. So this so, is a mosaic IPA? Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll see. Oh, my God. That's strong. Drinking beer in Thailand is a different Oh, adventure. damn. What is it? What am I tasting? Hops. No, I, I taste the hops, but is there? It's specifically mosaic hops. No, it smells like um, uh, passion fruit or something, or pineapple, or do you smell any of that? Yeah, well, taste part, that? a lot of that is coming from the type of hop that they're using in the beer. There's different good. hops have different fruity aromas. Yeah, and this one has a little bit of that mango and maybe grapefruit. It's not a peach. It's, yeah, maybe a little mango. I it's like good. that, and, and you got two very different beers. We we tried the uh, the Archa, Archa. I think my Long Island accent came out, but that's oh, like Archa. that's like a grandpa beer that uh, very crisp. You can drink a lot of those on a very hot day, and then the Outlaw mm -hmm. with the uh, with the Clint Eastwood, who's, who's close to a hundred years old now. If you need to know, he's still doing it. He's still doing it. Yes, um, you got to you got to talk more about the street food. 
Yeah, well, the, like I said before, that street food's everywhere, absolutely everywhere, and it's fantastic. Uh, you'll you'll be surprised how how what quality they can get off of a street grill. In fact, right. there was the one one that we saw had four Michelin stars. Really? Yeah. And uh, wait, a street cart? Street cart had Michelin stars Holy for shit. some some noodle soups. Okay. Fantastic, and that was uh, that was in Chinatown. But um, there, it's everywhere. Like even the the crazy parts of town, like this this area called Kaosan Road, um, just thousands of people out there drinking, um, puffing nitrous out of balloons. Seriously? Yes. Yeah, so like, on the street, like they're at a Grateful Dead show. Just like that. Nice. Just like that. But uh, I tried that once a million years ago. Yeah. How'd you do? Did all right. Yeah, it's okay. a little. It's a little weird. It's it is definitely idea. weird. Yes. Yes. Everything yeah. is. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't need that, uh, I, so I didn't try one over there at Hand Pass, but um, just the sights alone in that, that one particular area uh, was incredible. Like thousands of people on this one little strip. And what is it, just bars and like bars street and food? Bars and bars and bars that you would never see here. One of the bars was just steps. It was just like giant steps all the way up, which can you imagine the insurance nightmare? To so what, there. you grab a beer and just hang out on one of the steps? Yeah, well there's different bars on the different steps, oh, so you bad. climb up, drink your beer, and then figure out how to get back down. Now, do they eat bugs over there? That's what I know about Thailand. Supposedly, they eat a lot of bugs, scorpions. Some do. But yeah, they're available. Really? Scorpions on a stick, and then there's cockroaches and grubs and stuff, and they're all dead. We had a we had a Mexican nanny for a while, and she would come over with the bugs. Yeah, and she would bring her own. Yeah, and, and make us try them. And I was like, there's something about eating a bug. I I don't know. No. She. <laughs> To her, it was like eating peanuts. I had grasshopper a couple of times. I, well, that's she brought over some grasshoppers. It's a novelty, and, though. and then it was like all with like Mexican spices and stuff. But that it helps. But you can't get past the fact that you're eating something with legs. True. That you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I, 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 didn't, I did not like down it. the throat. Ugh. I did not like it. Um, so, oh, and also the, the bars close, and then what, they set up the sidewalk bars or something? 3 a.m., the bars are supposed to stop serving alcohol, and then uh, a bunch of street bars show up. There's a little fully stocked, I don't know, it's like a five-foot little bar. Yeah. And uh, some cute girl selling beer behind the bar, and you can hang out there and, and uh, play your music until the wee hours of the morning. Nice. It is nice. Is it a party city? It sure is. <laughs> it sure is, he yeah. says. Oh, I forgot to ask you about the ping pong show. We teased that for like two episodes. Yeah, well, it's a uh, it holding the, pattern. What do you mean? I'm going back again next year. You didn't do the ping pong show. I didn't do show. the ping pong show. I'm out. I didn't do it. All right, what did we drink today? The Outlaw Mosaic IPA. I think that's on camera. And the Archer Lager. And the Archer Lager. Um, and they're both wonderful for different reasons. Yes. And, and go to Bangkok to get them. And I'm so glad you're back, glad Matt, you're back. owner of Get Parts. We'll have, uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll have more stories from Thailand on uh, on future episodes, right? There's plenty left over. Because right. I, I want to get to the, the, the pus. <laughs> <laughs> it's gross. Oh, gross. Oh. What are we doing?